Terre Haute is about to commemorate a part of its history, one of it that's largely been avoided for the last century, the lynching of a black man. As Mitch Legan reports, the community is participating in a project to acknowledge a difficult part of its past. Just a warning, some images in the story are graphic. Fairbanks Park in Terre Haute is a place that brings the community together. Located right on the banks of the Wabash River, the 145-acre park offers water access, an amphitheater, and plenty of space for kids to play. You'd never know a man was lynched here in 1901. George Ward was my great-grandfather. At this day and age, we'll call him an African-American citizen of Terre Haute. He was a working man. He was a father. Um, he was a um, husband. Terry Ward is the great-grandson of Vigo County's only known lynching victim, George Ward, a black man accused of murdering a white woman. Terry now lives on the West Coast, but grew up in Terre Haute, unaware of his family's history. But they never spoke about it because it was a, uh, to the Ward name, it was a disgrace based on the fact of what he was accused of. In February 1901, a young school teacher was murdered. Her assailant was described as a black man, and Ward apparently confessed to the crime but his day in court never came. The chief of police had heard that a mob was coming, so they took him to the county jail there by the river, um, and it wasn't very long before the crowd showed up. The mob overran the jail and lynched Ward from the nearby bridge. Once they were through with the lynching, they built a pyre on the banks of the river and burned his body. Anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 people participated the faces of these people that are just so satisfied with themselves. And that is typical of photographs after a lynching. The incident became a source of shame for the family, who immediately were labeled criminals by mob justice. Terry says it set off a chain of ward men leaving the city, with those left behind living in poverty. I probably am the first generation outside of uh, any generation since George Ward that has achieved past the poverty level. The lynching also put Terre Haute in a negative light, and many wanted to forget the incident as quickly as possible. Rumors spread that someone from out of town stirred up the mob. One newspaper report said Terre Haute was the true victim. When this happened, I think it was almost a shock to the community, like a gasp, like what, oh my gosh, this didn't happen here. This, we just, we have to pretend this never happened here. Let's just don't talk about it. For the next century, what happened to George Ward was buried in the public consciousness. Those who knew there was a lynching were short on details. The Vigo County Historical Museum didn't mention George Ward until last year. These things have to be taught in our educational centers and our museums in order to grow from them, in order for it not to happen again. Terry Ward returned to Terre Haute in 2020 to collect soil from the land his great-grandfather was lynched on. It was part of the Equal Justice Initiative's Community Remembrance Project, which aims to put historical markers in counties where lynchings occurred. EJI and the local NAACP chapter teamed up to have a marker installed at Fairbanks Park. It's been in the dark. We are uh, bringing it at, into the light, and so we can have this healing process. We can have reconciliation. We can have closure. There will be a ceremony this Sunday to dedicate the marker and acknowledge the injustice done to Ward and his family. Four generations of wards will be there, including Terry. It's his hope the marker will help the family and community heal and come together in the pursuit of justice for all. What I hope will happen is that they will identify their own hearts by reading the memorial, seeing what it, what it uh, consisted of, seeing the atrocity that was done, and be willing, if nothing else, to step up in life against the situation that they would say would be wrong in society. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Mitch Legan. The George Ward Historical Marker Memorial will be dedicated at 3 p.m. this Sunday at Fairbanks Park in Terre Haute.